Hi gardeners. So today, for those of you looking for a vine, I'm going to be talking about my favorite vine. And I'm often asked about favorite plants, and I don't really have a favorite plant, but I sure do have a favorite vine. And it's coral honeysuckle. Uh, and I love it because it puts on this very prolific bloom in May where it's completely covered in orange and red blossoms, but it will continue to bloom for the rest of the season until the frost stops it. A mature specimen is a stunning showstopper from May into June. The Asian wisteria is a popular vine used by gardeners, but it only blooms in the spring and it's known for destroying the very supports that it grows on while being invasive as you can witness just by looking at the trees being attacked on our roadsides. Coral honeysuckle is also known as woodbine or trumpet honeysuckle. Why use other vines when you can use this one? Don't confuse it with trumpet creeper, which is native to the southeast, but is aggressive and reseeds prolifically. Coral honeysuckle is much better behaved than any of these vines, um, and it grows in zones 4 to 9, in average to wet soils, reaching a height of 15 to 20 feet under ideal conditions. For best bloom, it does need full sun, but it will grow in part shade. And gardeners, I appreciate everything you are doing to make your garden more eco-friendly. You will love that this vine is the larval host plant for the snowberry clearwing moth and the spring azure butterfly, as well as providing nectar for bees and other pollinators. Please go to Native Plant Channel's Facebook page for more information on growing this awesome plant, and please subscribe in order to receive notification when the next video is posted. Another great thing about coral honeysuckle is how it provides nectar for pollinators and I particularly enjoy the hummingbirds. When I have hummingbirds it's usually visiting uh, this vine. And look at the beautiful color here still in early November. In the spring this plant is completely covered in flowers. It's just a showstopper. But that flowering will continue with a little bit of color throughout the entire season up until frost as you can see. And friends check out the berries. Our birds eat these in the fall um, including goldfinches and a little bit of history George Washington grew this vine at Mount Vernon. Um, one thing you want to know is that you do have to protect it from deer. Although it's often listed as deer resistant it isn't. Unfortunately this year I guess like all of us Coral honeysuckle is having a tough year for the very first time since I've had it in 20 years. Um, the aphids got to it. Now, because I garden not just for beauty, but for a better ecosystem, I do not use sprays to get rid of the insects. But nature takes care of itself. And the ladybugs came in and now have the aphids under control. However, that's kind of ruined the blooms on the vine. So gardeners, this little orange and black insect, this is one you should be familiar with. Um, this is a ladybug larva. So remembering your high school biology, insects undergo metamorphosis. And just as butterflies don't look like their caterpillars, um, ladybugs don't look like the little babies that they start out as. Um, but these are the guys that are doing the work in your garden of eating up insects like aphids. In fact, look at the top right of the screen here and you should see at least three of the larvae scurrying about looking for their meal. So look closely at your gardens for all the exciting stuff happening there. Ladybugs are carnivores. Not only are they carnivores, but they are cannibals. Take a look at the two here on the ends as they're eating their fellow little ladybug larvae. Here at the center of the screen is the pupa stage of the ladybug. So again, when you see this in your garden, leave it. These are helping you out, helping to eliminate pests. So once I shear it back, um, I expect it to do well the rest of the season now that the aphids are under control. I 
I will be needing a ladder to reach the rest, but you get the idea. I want to thank you for watching Native Plant Channel and for doing all that you do in your gardens to make our world better because we can all improve the world one garden at a time just beginning by our very own gardens and learning what to do in our own garden. So thank you. Have a great day.